Heel. Hey, YouTubers, Facebookers, and Instagrammers, welcome to Charlie's vlog. And in this week, I'm gonna be doing some more advanced handling training using a straight line in some woodlands. And I'm gonna be practicing stopping the dog and pushing him left or right, using what I call filler retrieves to keep the dog running in a straight line. I'm also gonna do a little bit of what I call the three card trick out in an open space. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this episode, guys. Sit. So what I'm doing in this drill is I've got a high-vis dummy. I've pre-placed some dummies on the left and the right all the way down, and I've marked them with some sticks on the floor so I know where I need to stop my dog to then push left or right. We're using a marked retrieve as the catalyst to make the dog run in a straight line. Now, for every one you stop when you push left or right, you must let the dog have at least one straight retrieve in between. They're what I call filler retrieves. If you don't continue to do that, the dog will often start hesitating on the way out and also might not even want to run out at all. So if I send the dog and I want to stop it and it's running out of hesitation, I let it carry on running for the original retrieve that it's seen. So this is what we're going to have a go at doing. So I'm going to give him a mark retrieve to start with. Charlie, sit. This is just to get him going. A bit high, a bit of a crap one. But so I'm just letting him pick that one so he knows the score that we're picking retrieves. Good boy. He's already a bit tired because I did 20 minutes of hunting with him earlier. So sit. So I've got a stick just down here. I'm actually going to walk further back because otherwise it's a bit close to stopping. I'm going to throw this low. That's his mark. So that's where he thinks he's running. I might come out of shot for this slightly. Charlie, here. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Sit. Great. lacked a little bit of confidence there he went to go and pick it and then he it was just a bit further on than what he was comfortable doing sit so i stopped and pushed him left again and he took that command if he had failed to go left then i would have walked out and put another retrieve down and restarted him so i've got to pick that filler retrieve now Charlie. Wait. the biggest mistake is you can make is keep stopping the dog if you don't let the dog regularly have filler retrieves they stop wanting to run. Sit. Now all the next ones are a bit further out, so I'm going to move the camera. Sit. So, right. I would have liked that to go a bit further because I want to push him left, not far before that. Ready? Straight. Good boy, good boy. This is the uh, fem hem bird skin round of dummy. Good boy, I'm quite used to picking this, it's quite heavy as well. Good boy, come on in, come on. Good boy, well done. Come on, Charlie, Charlie. Good boy, well done. Here, sit. And we've got to pick that white one now. Here we go. Break. So the next ones are on the right here. Good lad. So again, I've got sticks on the ground lying this way to show me where I need to push the dog left or right. Because if you don't have them parallel with the dummy that's out the side, you won't be pushing the dog in the right place. So the problem is my stop point is a bit close to this. So I'm gonna come back. Come on. Otherwise, just as the dog's getting going, you're stopping it. Sit, good boy. Great. Now, the trouble I've got now is he's looking into the sun, which might make this tricky. Good boy, I'm pleased with that. Well done, good lad. That was hard for him looking into the sun. Good boy, let's pick the white one. Right! Now I'm gonna make him let go of it this time. Leave that! So it's 
it's always worth practicing being able to make him stop and let go at any point. If you don't keep anything up regularly, they just as quickly lose it. So we've got one more on the right to do, but what I'm going to do this time, his son's a nightmare. When he runs out and I stop him, I'm actually going to throw one to the left, say leave that and then try and pick him for that right one. So you see one go out straight ahead, he's seen one go out to the left, but I don't want either of those. I want the one on the right. So what I need to do is have a dummy ready, because if it's not ready, right, ready? Split. Right. No, I don't know who saw that, because he's looking at the sun. Good boy. Got a heavy rabbit one this time. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Up. Right, everyone, so I'm hoping the sound will be okay on this. Um, so I've done lots of three card tricks where I'm doing backs with rights and lefts and lefts and rights. It's what I call the three card trick. It's something that I would always practice with all dogs, but I'm doing it in a space now where we're not adhering to lines. So it's much easier for the dog to go wrong. So although he could do this at a more advanced level, in this situation in a more open field, it's a little bit easier for him to get this wrong. So I'm going to try and go through this. I'm now I'm going to mix this up and that's going to become the back. That's going to become the left. I'm going to put one right here. You probably won't see that one when I try and pick it. So I'm going to put it. Sit. Right, everyone. So just prior to this clip, I'd had to quite heavily edit this video due to unfortunate sound issues. I'd pre-placed already a retrieve out to the left, one directly behind him and one out to the right. So this one's going out to the right. I'm going to try and pick the back one now. Right! Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, here we Good boy. Sit. This one back out. Always 90, 180s. Good boy, good boy. Here, Charlie, Charlie, here. Good boy. Sit. So that one back. I'm going to pick the back one with my left hand this time. Right! It means he has to turn to his, my left, his right. Good boy. I'm only going to do a few of these. I don't want to wear them out before I take them hunting. Good boy, sit. I'm going to put this one back out. This is my partridge wrapped. These are the partridge pelts that I do wrapped around the dummy. I'm going to put that one back out. Good. I'm going to pick this right one. Good boy. Well done. I'm going to put this one in my, in my bag this time now. Sit. Just going to pick that back one. Boy, I'm going to pick this one as a straight one, I think. Charlie, here. Whoop. Ah, Charlie, here. Here, here, here. Sit. Straight. Boy, well done. Good boy. So this is something. Here, come back towards the camera. Good boy. Sit. So this is something that I want to keep practicing. Little mini three guard card tricks in lots of new different places so he gets used to going back and uh, left and right. It's one thing to do it on your, your same training ground, take it to somewhere new where everything looks the same and suddenly your back or your left or right can be really weak. So it's making sure that we keep working on it, isn't it Charlie? Well done, good boy. Heel. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode, guys. Uh, I don't think there's going to be an episode next week because sadly I've got to go into hospital. So I don't think I'm going to have time to record a video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. It really does help me. And happy training, guys. Ooh.